no. No, oh, Jesus, Jesus, look, Stan, look at what you did to it. It was an accident. An accident? Look, it's just three weeks old. I had to buy her for it and everything, Stan. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. How did you do that? How did you manage that? Well, the plastic was still on the seats. Stan! Wally, it doesn't make sense. I mean, I mean, look at the street. It's the Mark, 1980s. Mark, I just want to try it, okay? Can you put up the other music? Mark, I mean, look. I mean, it's great. It's terrific. It's fantastic. What do you mean it's great? You only looked at it for five seconds. You didn't even look at it. Why don't you watch it? It's great. Roll it back for him. Play it again. No, stop. Hello? Look, you hired me to make this kind of decision because I've got taste. Wally, taste. it's for you. You think that's why they hired you? Because you got taste? Wally, it's Sylvia, your sister. I'm sorry, Michael, but I have to choose all the music. Mark, Michael and I already have an agreement on the music, OK? Don't we, Michael? I think I'd like to hear a bit more about this agreement. Hello? Should I should I call back later? Just a little bit of breeze. Wally? I want, I I want don't, some of that I don't want it. Wally, have... It's about Dad. What? Dad. What, what, all of a sudden, I what, am what not, happened? I'm in the He's had an accident. An accident? <laughs> you call that an accident? Well, it's not really very serious, but I just thought... Look, he smashed into my car in the friggin' driveway. What? You're mad at him because he hit your car? No, that was fine. Stan just got a little excited in the driveway, all right? But there was no insurance. The way you, learned uh, you, you didn't have insurance? Michael. No, he didn't have any insurance. Well, he wasn't going very fast. Fast? Fast? It's $2,800 damage fast enough for you? Look, Wally, I'm calling to tell you that I've had it with him, but I'm putting him in a home. If you want to come back here and talk to him yourself, we'll wait a bit. It wasn't my fault. The gas pedal got stuck. It's the linkage, I'm telling you. But I can't fix it. Did you have insurance? Sure, I had insurance. I always had insurance. Billy really talked to them. He said you didn't pay your premiums, Dad. And they wrote to you, but you didn't answer. Billy talked to them? Who is he talking to now? He's, uh, he's just on the phone. Who is he talking to? To Wally, Dad. I, I gotta call you back later, okay? You'll call after work? Yeah. All right. You'll call in the middle of the night, okay? Bye bye. Yeah, bye, Wally. What's wrong? I don't know. Something wrong with my father. Well, I can finish up the program, Wally. Why don't you take a few days off? I can't go back to Sydney and talk to my father, Elaine. I mean, he hates me. Besides, I'm too busy. I gotta pitch Michael on the De Gaulle project. You know that. Where are you?
Where is Sydney? It's in Cape Breton. Nova Scotia, Canada, north of New York kind of thing. Oh, great. What are the things he forgets? Mm, things like his insurance. He hasn't done his taxes for three years. Dad hasn't done his income tax for three years? Mm. Well, Sylvia, don't you say anything to him? I mean, isn't the government writing him letters? Well, he's never opened his mail. Oh. <clears throat> Billy thinks he has Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease? Well, Billy should know, the used car salesman. We didn't tell him you're coming. Selling new cars now. Chrysler's. So you just up and decided to come back here, to visit? Yeah. You came to visit? Mm-hmm. You want a beer? You want to watch TV? No. We have pay TV now. Video cassettes, rock stars, the whole thing. That's good. So, how are things? Things? Yeah, how's everything going? Things are fine. You give me beer, would you, Sylvia? Some ketchup, too.
She can stick around for a while. Look up the old flame. Sure, she's on the loose again, boy. Coming back Monday. Sylvia, aren't you going to sit and eat? I already ate the kids. Well, I'll sit down anyway. No, no, it's okay. You eat like this every night while she serves you? It's tough, boy, but you get used to it. I mean, this is weird. Weird? This is weird. Oh, I want to kiss goodnight. Tight. And don't, don't let, let the, the bed bites bite. <laughs> Come here, kids. Give me a kiss. Good night. Ah, that's a good hug. Good night now. Did you clean your teeth? Mm -hmm. Is Uncle Wally staying? No, your Uncle Wally's going back to California. What? You want to say good night to Uncle Wally? No. <sighs> okay, well, run upstairs and I'll be up there in five minutes to turn out the light. This is weird. Lettuce. The children don't even know him, and he eats lettuce. And what are you eating? Sausage fat, dough, butter? I mean, what do you want, a heart attack? Where are the French fries? You eat all that garbage, and then you treat her like that. You're crazy. Crazy? Crazy? Your sister made perohi for you, your favorite, and you won't eat any. Not one perohi. That's crazy. Why don't you shave your head and wear orange sheets? Perohi <laughs> aren't my favorite!
downstairs. Listen to that opera music again. Listen, Billy, you still want to kick Dad out? Why, <laughs> but I love the guy. I always got along great with him, you know that. Look, Wally, you left a long time ago. Not Wally. Wally, you don't know the fella anymore. Oh, God knows, you don't get along very well. <laughs> you can just go back, but. You want to help him fix up the place? I help him fix up his hearse? You know, and <laughs> here I am figuring out his income tax form. I even help him pick up bodies, bud, from accidents. But I'm telling you, there's something seriously wrong with him. Billy, do you really think that he's... Wally, you got to live with him. He'll be okay for a while, and then he'll do something right wacko. Dangerous. You know, he hasn't done a funeral in over six months. <laughs> in the business, look, he hasn't paid any of these, and he paid one fella four times on the same bloody invoice, four times. Now, that's sick. It's just sick. Well, how, how does Sylvia feel? Sylvia won't see it. But I'm telling you, he's got to go somewhere where he can get some treatment. Last time he did a funeral. I remember when I lived here, you had a funeral almost every week. Your business was great then. I mean, there was a lot of Ukrainians living in Whitney Pier. I guess they've all moved to the suburbs now. They are not Ukrainians anymore. Look, Dad, I know you're still mad at me because I left. But people are worried about you. They think that maybe you should go and see a doctor. Oh. This is why you came back here. All the way from California to tell me this. Dad, I just want to say that people are concerned for you. Why don't you go for a checkup? I mean, most people your age are retired already. You're 67 years old. 63. My son doesn't even know how old his father is. Dad, you're crashing into things with the hearse. I mean, it's nothing to be ashamed of. I'm not ashamed of it. It was an accident. It was mechanical. Anybody can see that. Perhaps. But maybe you should just have your eyes checked. Maybe you need new glasses. Oh, this is my son, who runs away as soon as his mother dies to California. And now he cares so much, he comes back to put his father away. I came back to talk to you. After 15 years, he comes back to talk. So talk, talk. Tell me, where is it everyone wants me to go? To California to become famous like you? Talk. Dad, did you, ever, did you ever think that maybe I left here because of you?
Dad. Ivan died. Your cousin. I have a funeral to do. Operator's credit card 213-733-8133-5106. Hello, online video. Can I help you? Hi, could I have Elaine Gordon, please? She's in editing suite four. Elaine? Hi. Wally. Hi. Melissa, did you give Michael my notes on the DeGaulle script? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, they're having a little trouble with the characterization. They think it's a bit, uh... European or... It's too French. It's too French? It's about Charles de Gaulle! Look, Elaine, let me speak to Michael. This is ridiculous. Michael? I'm not going to talk to him. He disappeared. What does he mean, I've disappeared? I've only been gone for a day and a half, Wally? for God's sake. Wally! <laughs> Lionel! Lionel? Lionel! Lionel? Hey, Lionel! Wally! Wally. It's Wally! <laughs> Give me a minute, Wally! Lionel. Elaine, please. Look, maybe you and Michael should talk later, Wally. Maybe they shouldn't talk at all. <laughs> You're back from California. Oh, I gotta call everyone. No, no, Lionel, yeah, no, no, oh, no. Harry, no. Oh, this is fantastic. No. Wally, they're gonna phone Miles and Sam. Oh, they're gonna go crazy. Lionel, you can't We gotta go out again, now. Just Elaine, listen, I, I'm not gonna yell at Michael. Just, just put him on the phone for me, okay? You look great, Lionel. Yeah, it's the jogging. I, I do Nautilus, too, with Bernice. Bernice? Yeah, I married Bernice. Hey, my, my pulse is down. Okay. I gotta go. I gotta okay. keep jogging. Take care. It's nice seeing you. I'll see you later. Okay, bye. At the seahorse. No. Hey, you be there tonight. Oh, God. Are you okay? No, I'm all right. Look, all right, tell Michael I'm gonna be back tonight. Tell him I'll see him in the morning for, for breakfast, maybe. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll talk to him. I miss you. Yeah, I miss you, too. Bye-bye. Dad, I'm gonna have to go back today. I got a project in Los Angeles. If I don't get back there soon, it's just gonna... Dad, look, I I'm sorry about getting mad yesterday, all right? I didn't mean what I said about leaving here because of you. I never came to the final game. The championship, the Pee Wee League, when you were eight, I was... But I came to the playoffs. You were a fielder. Center field. No. You played left field. Dad, look, I know I don't have any right to say anything. I mean, I haven't been home much, and we haven't talked ever. But I want to speak to you about going to see a doctor. and. And how are you going to live now for the next 10 or 20 years? Do you remember Klopashak, that big kid? He hit that long fly ball. And I knew what was going to happen. None of the other kids thought you were any good, because you were just a little runt. None of them thought you could get it. But I knew what was going to happen right away. The kid on second and third, they were running for home. The pitcher didn't even watch them. They had big lead off. They were off with the pitch. And then you caught the ball. And they were out by miles. A triple play. Then that Italian kid. Maturgio. Maturgio. He hit a home run, so he was the hero. 
but you won the game. I know you could do it. I knew you would do it. I knew it right away. You were a great fielder, Walter. Dad, how do you remember all that? Funny. Being in place and everything. Everything? What do you mean, being in plays and everything? You know. No, I don't know, Dad. What do you mean, everything? You are 35 years old. I'm 34. You don't come back here anymore. You are not married. And you live in San Francisco. I live in Los Angeles. California. You think I'm gay, don't you? You're not the only one. I'm not gay, Dad. You remember Klopasha, the big kid? Dad, I'm not gay. I'm telling you that. I mean, I wouldn't mind if you thought that if I were gay. I mean, Klopashak is gay. Where? In Montreal. Dad, I'm not gay! This is where you want to meet him. This is Lionel's idea. Oh, where's Lionel? He's pulling someone's teeth out. Well, what do you think happened to him? Make him turn into a dentist. There he is. Lionel! Ah! This is great. <laughs> great. Wonderful, Lionel. You really think he's going to come, Lionel? For sure he's going to come. I mean, uh, we're his oldest friends. <laughs> I knew him in grade one. Yeah, you knew him in grade one. Hey, Bobby! Bobby, come here! Is that waitress Bobby McLaren? Yeah. Wally's old girlfriend? Yeah. Hey, how you doing? Good. Hi. Hey, Trap. Hey, Trap. Sure. All right. Do it, <laughs> Did you really pull somebody's teeth out? Yeah. Did you wash your hands afterwards? Yeah. Eh, uh, well, he's not gonna come anyway. Why not? He's in Hollywood, Lionel. Guys in Hollywood don't go out and drink craft beer. They've got agents. Bobby. Hi, Wally. He's here. Is he ever thin? No offense, Lionel. Hey, Wally! Wally! I gotta go, but... Over here! Your friends are waiting. We'll talk later. I do. The union's never worked, Lionel. Hey, buddy. How Miles. you doing? Good. Good. Hey, Wally. Sam. Good to see you. Miles. Hi. Harry. How you doing, buddy? Good. 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 Sit down. Sit down. It's been a while. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. Ah. Ah. Yeah. Ah. Something for you, Wally? Um, I'll have draft too. 
Part two. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Can I have one of yours for now? Oh, you got two, come on. You got one of mine. So, Wally, why don't you tell us about yourself now? Oh, come on, don't make him talk about himself. Uh, I just opened a real estate agency. I married Gladys from Halifax. We've got two kids now. I got Rhea and Parker. That's my daughter, Janet. Very gifted. That's the mother there, and that's the mother-in-law. You and Bernice? Uh, we don't have any kids. Not yet. Yeah, Dennis can't have kids. The x-rays. Hey, that's not true. I mean, Dennis have larger than average families on a... Statistically. I'm not married. Oh, wow. <laughs> How did you do it? Are you divorced? Actually, you know, Wally, in your line of work, that's a good thing. All the starlets, huh? Right. I can hitch up with one person. Yeah. Huh? Good for you. Yeah. Yeah. Thinking, sure. yeah. <laughs> well, uh... Kids. Sure. Rock and roll. <laughs> Hollywood. Old times. Old times. Seating heroines. <laughs> Tastes the same, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna have a kiwi later on tonight. No. Lionel, if you ate a kiwi before every meal, and if you had one before you went to bed, you'd lose four pounds in a week. Really? Guaranteed. That's it. Yeah. Kiwis. Well, and you can't you can't eat more than a thousand gallons a day. <laughs> you know, Wally, I'm pacing myself. Wally, you're in the big time. Have you ever seen any big stars? Like, have you ever seen uh, have you ever seen Richard Benjamin? Richard Benjamin? Yeah, yeah, Richard Benjamin. I saw him once in a restaurant. Oh Jesus. no, in a <laughs> restaurant. <laughs> and eating food in a restaurant. Hey, hey, you got a teenage girlfriend? No. Oh. <laughs> you got a hot tub, right? Nope. Jesus, what you been doing down there? I got a sauna. <laughs> you got a sauna? I hate country and western music. No. You know, Los Angeles cool is it's very, very rich. Southern California is very affluent with air. I hate country and western music. I got a big real estate. A lot. The best investment you can make. What? Slow down. Slow down. It's okay. It'll work by itself, okay? Okay. Just relax. Just calm down. Come on, sit down. Hey, hey, hey! hey. No. Just sit down. I know something about love. You gotta want it back. If that guy gets into your heart, go out and get it. If you want it to be. Leave him dead, that 
want to say that I had a terrific time. No, yeah. really. You guys are really wonderful. Uh, oh. Don't pay for Dennis. Don't pay for oh. it. Oh, my God. Oh. I'll give you a lift home, Lionel. Harry, are you taking off? Yeah. As soon as you right. stop. Miles, what are you going to do? Puking. Puking. Yeah. Oh. You're going to home, too? Okay. Okay, see you, fellas. Take care, eh? Bye. Okay. Catch you later, Sam. Okay, here. Hey, Lionel. Uh, oh, what? Hey, your wife gives you a hard time telling you to choke on some dental floss. Oh, huh? funny guy. Uh, <laughs> I hope he has a puke in your car, Sam. All right, I wife. always puke in cars. Oh. You're going to take off, eh? Yeah, I better. Hey! <laughs> see you all. See you, Miles, Harry. Let's Bye, do guys. it again, okay? Great, Wait, now, <laughs> Lionel. <laughs> Later. Oh, bye. Uh, uh, I better take Lionel home. You gonna leave? Yeah, I better. Sammy, it was nice seeing you. Good night, Wally. Take care. Oh, and remember, uh, Richard Benjamin? Richard Benjamin. Autograph. Benjamin. Autograph. <laughs> All right. Take care. Okay. <laughs> first got down there, it was so incredible. The sea, the mountains, the weather, Rolls Royces, and everything seems so clean. And everybody living there is in the film business. I mean, you go into a corner store to buy a package of gum, and there are people standing around talking about film deals. And the people that are in the business there, they're all from somewhere else. They're from England or New York. You know, and the people that look like they're from L.A., they're Canadians. <laughs> It's true. And they're all walking around with a smile on their face, like they're saying they don't really believe they're there and making all that money. You like the money, huh? Well, what does it feel like to be making so much money? Great. Sort of. But you know, Bobby, there's nothing like this down there. You know, going out and drinking with real friends. All the people I know down there I work with, I remember when I first got down there, I tried to make friends, and... Ah. I guess you have to be a kid to make friends. I almost left, you know. After you moved away, I was gonna go to Toronto and study acting. And then I got a good part in a play here. So I was going to leave after that. God, everybody on the island has a story about the time they almost left. It's funny, you know, even after I married Joe, I still thought that I'd end up leaving this place. And then we had Kai. Oh, he, Kai is wonderful, Wally. You've got to meet him. He's five now. Five? God. And things are a lot better for me since Joe moved out. I hear you've had a lot of affairs. No. Who told you that? Oh, well, heck, your love life is one of the main topics of local conversation. All right up there with the closing of the steel plant, I bet. You ever think about what it might have been like if we'd got married? I get sentimental sometimes. And I have to think hard to remember how bad it would have been. That's the thing about getting older. You tend to forget all the bad things. Do you really think it would have been all that bad, Bobby? Horrible.
You know what I want to do now? What? Do you remember what we used to do? I haven't been here for about 17 years. Yeah? I still have fantasies about you in this room. You do? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you stand over there. Wally. Come on. What? No. Come on. <laughs> just, just go over. Say please. Please. Here. No, over there a bit more. <sighs> you just turn a little bit. Smile. Now it happens. Slowly, but really slowly, start to undo your buttons. Come on. Come on. I can't. Forget it. I'm not gonna do this. Come on. <laughs> My women don't have fantasies? No. Nope. You came back here to see your father, didn't you? Uh, Billy thinks he's sick. He wants to kick him out of the house, put him away. You know my father, Bobby. He's kind of strange and abrasive. Well, he is your father. What do you mean? Nothing. You know, I don't think he's sick. And I certainly don't blame Billy because I'd hate to live with him. I don't know what to do. I can't tell Billy he has to live with him, and I certainly can't tell my father I came back here to put him in a home. I feel guilty, though, you know, really guilty. What is it? You know, I never helped him with the funeral, once, ever. And he was proud of what he did. He was quiet about it, but he was really proud. And he never insisted I help him. And I knew it hurt him. I was just always embarrassed about him, you know? The Ukrainian mortician from Whitney Pier. You know what the people are like here. They, they never let you forget. You know, if I would have stayed, I would have been the Yuki from the pier. The undertaker's son. Oh, Bobby, I left here because I was... I was ashamed of my own father. What's wrong? 
Wally, Dad hasn't come home tonight. He went to pick up Uncle Ivan's body, and he never came back. Billy's been out looking for him since midnight. Bernice just called. She said Lionel saw the hearse off the road, down by the tar ponds, near the mill. What? I'll to back your genitor to loss I want to so free to loss I want to so free I'll to back your genitor Dad? Dad, what are you doing here? This is what killed my wife. This cancer. This is what killed Marina. I hate this place! Dad, Jesus! Accident in the coke ovens. When? There were a lot of Ukrainians in there. It was the steam that killed them, not the flames. It was the hot gas in the lungs. It was the steam that made them look like that. But I will put them back together. I made them look like they had skin again. One little boy said it was funny his daddy died because he looked fine. They all looked fine. I did it for free. For free. Do you know who I am? Your son, Walter. Walter, Dad. Walter. Let's go home. <clears throat> Elaine called from Los Angeles. She says it's important. I'm calling. Mom. 
Mommy, where was our Grampy last night? He was out in the slime. You're standing in the middle of the tar ponds, Billy. Oh, Jesus. Was he splashing around in the muck? He didn't know where he was. He didn't know who I was. He's old. He gets confused. I think there's something wrong with him. It's serious. Well, you better not break it up with Ivan. Get him bombing. If he gets it wrong, it's going to stink to high hell. You know, I used to think this was normal, living next to a steel plant. It is normal, Wally. Maybe a hundred years ago it was normal. I mean, now it's normal to live next to a freeway. You know, I haven't phoned L.A. in two days. Probably don't have a job left. Or a girlfriend. You mean Elaine? Is she a girlfriend now? Sort of. Sort of? What do you mean, sort of? I mean, is it serious or not? Surprise. Wally, did you ever think about having kids? I hate kids. Oh, come on. I mean, haven't you ever wanted to have a son? No. Well, you know, that bothers Dad. What bothers Dad? Not having a grandson. I'm... He's got Sean. Yeah, but Sean is not an Alenic. I mean, there's no one with the family name. That's ridiculous, Sylvia. He's got two grandchildren. Just because they're yours and not mine, what difference does it make? The difference is that they're not Alenics, OK? Would you like to wash his face? Is it always like this? Or sometimes after an accident, an autopsy, they are in pieces, diseased, dangerous. Sometimes you just don't feel right. Hepatitis B. Ivan is a good corpse. What are they for? Ivan doesn't have to see all this. Doesn't this bother you? No. Blood pumping never bothered me. Never had dreams. Shaving never bothered me. Fingernails. I hate cleaning under the fingernails. Dad, I, I can clean under Ivan's nails if you want. Ivan died with clean fingernails. You have to make them so they look like they used to, when they were healthy. Everyone want to see them once more, to say goodbye. Goodbye to a dead body. They want 
to remember what their men were like when they first got married. Even when he got married, Ivan didn't look so good. I have to cut him up now to drain the blood. So I think you should go now. OK. tell Michael I want a deal in writing and I want veto on cast script and director uh, he he wants to call you back a little bit later he just has some things he has to sort out first Wally it's been a long time I really wish you were here I'm sorry I miss you Wally I miss you too well, are you coming back soon? Look, I gotta go. I gotta, I gotta go to a funeral. Your father? No, no, it's not my father. He's, he's, he's doing the funeral and I'm helping him. I'll call you when I have time later, okay? Okay. Bye. Bye. What's going on? Oh, well, he just has to figure out how he's going to deal with the network. That's all. Uh, what's going on with you two? Leo? Michael? I'm pregnant. Does Wally know? Turn out. My jacket's not gonna fit him. Come on. He's You're crazy, wearing. Billy. I'm not doing that. Come on, give me your shirt and your Put jacket and your time. Billy, I can't kick my own clothes off. I he feel looks can't so he young. I can't believe it. Ma, he's naked. This is all your fault. Let's go. I'm not giving my clothes to a corpse, Billy. Look, nobody's looking. The girl's looking. You're just a kid. Will you quit being a fruit and give me your jacket? She's watching me. She's hardly 10 years old. So what? What's age got to do with it? I'm not doing that, Billy. It's dumb. Billy, here, take it. Stupid. Church is watching.
Do you remember when we started to talk? I showed you three things and put them in this drawer. Can you tell me what they were? Oh, I asked you not to write them down in the book. Scissors. That's right. Can you remember the other two things? Papers. No. There wasn't any paper, Mr. Olenek. There was a block. And a pen. Your father is a remarkable man. He's very intelligent, resourceful. He's learned to compensate for his condition. And he's coping remarkably well, considering the level of degeneration. In my opinion, your father has Alzheimer's disease. I should tell you that the diagnosis is a process of eliminating all the other possibilities. See, the most prominent symptom of Alzheimer's at the beginning is memory loss and personality changes. You can think of the mind as a recording machine. Your father is losing the ability to make new records, but he still has all the old ones. He may not remember where he is sometimes, but he may remember his childhood very clearly. Alzheimer's patients sometimes can believe that their parents are still alive and they feel confused because they can't go home to their parents. Would you like me to find your son for you, Mr. Holmes? Caring for an Alzheimer's victim can put a tremendous strain on the family. Does anyone remember the words to Tipperary? The person will become incontinent lose control of the bladder and bowels. In the end, they lose the function of their involuntary muscles, the heart and the lungs. Would you like me to talk to your father? No, I'll, uh, I'll talk to him. You should go now, Dad.
You can't get parts for the hearse anymore. It won't run for anybody else. I'm the only one who can fix it. I bought it in St. Peter's. I remember that. I went with you to get it. Oh, yes. I had to give the ice cream cone to get you to come with me. You were just a little kid. We came to Canada when my grandfather died. His name was Max. I know. I hated him. Can you imagine I hated my own grandfather? I was happy when he died. was so young, and he smelled so bad. My mother had to change his diapers, so I've kept forgetting to go to the toilet. He couldn't remember a thing. Didn't even know who I was. My mother made me tell him my name all the time. And he wrote everything down. He kept lists. This is a secret. All right. Between you and me. It's a secret. Do you understand? I won't tell anybody, Dad. I promise. Wally, does he know what's wrong with him? Daddy. Later, dear. Were you having an Easter egg meal? It's Easter. Suddenly we're all Ukrainian. It's okay, honey. Daddy will help you later. But the paint will dry. Well, we'll make some more. Look, why don't you run next door and find your brother for me, okay? Oh, Mom. Come on. Does he know what's wrong with him? Tell him what the doctor said? No. Jesus, no bowel and bladder control. Well, that won't happen right away, will it, Wally? They don't know. The doctor said that she could arrange for one of us to take care of his business affairs. He could become what they call the curator. And that means he won't be able to sign for anything, he can't have a bank account. There are associations that know about the disease, aren't there? I mean, 
Can't they help him? Give him pills or something? There's experimental drugs that will help with the symptoms later on. Experimental drugs? Well, we'll just have to take care of him ourselves. We'll move his bedroom downstairs into the TV room. Stan deserves a hell of a lot better than this. Hi. Um, is this the place where Wally Olenek lives? I've had it with deal memos, Michael and Mark Allen. Look, look, I know it's not going to be pleasant, but Mark Allen is not going to be on our next project. Elaine, you're not listening. I'm not going back there. You're going to stay here? Yes. Oh. Uh-huh. And what about me? Oh, we can still stay together, you know. You can move here. And what are you going to do here? Work in the steel mill? I don't know, Elaine. Wally. Wally, this is a silly, romantic delusion. This is not the 1960s. I mean, you don't just move somewhere because you feel like it. Elaine, you can't be rational about the things that are really important. You just expect me to move up here with you. I want us to stay together. How can you do this? How can you ask me to move here? Look. Wally, I have a career. Have you noticed? I've got a university degree. I have spent seven years in television production. I've only known you for two years. We've only been sleeping together for four months. Dad? Dad? Belki den. It's Easter. Dad, do you remember when I was in grade eight? And you sent me to a different school in town where they had theater classes and classes for bright kids. Your mother wanted that. Dad, I want to tell you what it was like for me then. 
lot of the other kids there had fathers who were lawyers, you know, with names like McGinnis and McNeil. I hate lawyers, Dad. I was just embarrassed all the time. I was ashamed of you. I was ashamed that you were my father. It was hard for me. It was, I was just always known as that, you know, that damn Ukrainian kid from the pier, whose father was a, a mortician, a, an embalmer, an undertaker. Your mother wanted you to leave. Dad, I'm coming back here to live. I was never comfortable in California anyway. I just think of the place and I get nervous. I'm so proud of you, Walter. What was I? All my life, I was the mortician in Whitney Pier, the embalmer. But look at my son. Look what my son has done. You had to leave. And you were brave. And you succeeded. You fought hard, like my own father. I'm so proud of you. And you came back to help me with the funeral, to say goodbye. You are a good man, my son. I love you, Vladimir.